You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by today. I really appreciate it. I am going to check out the Sound Around Talking Puzzle from Whitman. Now, I promise you for the next two or three weeks, I'm going to be showing you all kinds of older and vintage toys. That is my goal for the first part of 2019. This is one of them which I did show in a previous video. I think it was a shout out. At least that's what I remember. Now, interestingly enough, there is an OSCO price tag of $2.99. Now this is from 1968. So it has been around quite a bit. The box has seen better days, but it still works. Let's see. Talking Puzzle Master Unit. That's what's inside the box. Featuring the magic tone arm, durable frame holds talking record and sturdy large piece puzzle. Build the puzzle inside the record. Turn the magic tone arm, hear the puzzle talk, read the storybook. Needs no batteries, ages 3 to 7. There's a little uh, bit of information there. Let's check out the rest of the box. Now, like I said, it has seen better days, so there has been some water damage. From a collector's standpoint, uh, 1968, the box is always very important to have. It does help with the value of a vintage toy, in case you're wondering. Even in this condition, having the box is a nice bonus. All right, so the bottom, as you can see, has seen better days. Now the instructions are on the inside. Let's see. That's a pretty neat looking toy. Instructions. Okay, so that is how you operate. I'll give you a better shot in just a second. Now each set, because remember, this is the main unit. There were other books and records you could add to it. So there's the book. This is the main record so right there is what we're playing and then you can do the puzzle on the inside so let me uh do this let me get this out of the way now it is very finicky so i'll do my best here and i do have a bunch of other uh ones to show you so this goes in, oh let me do this let me see if i can carefully take out the puzzle I might want to use a little tool for that so as not to bend the actual record that's in there. Okay, so there's the puzzle you can build. There's the back side. So the pieces still seem to be in pretty good shape and they will pop out. So I might do that. Let's just see. I got a lot, a lot to show you. So before I get too involved, here is the book. This takes you through the story. Now, I don't think it's the actual story on the record, but you do follow along. And it's a pretty long story. And at the end, of course, the little tugboat does his job and he helps the big freighter that was carrying bananas. It had a leak in the side. All right, then this goes on this. And then, uh, well, let me show you. There's a pin right here. This is the needle. And it kind of floats as it's moving around. So you kind of want to start it on the outside, I believe. Then you set this here. Now imagine back in 1968, kids trying to figure this out. I could see it being somewhat of a struggle. It says, remove record puzzle tray from box and place on flat surface. So they want you to remove the record first. Remove magic tone arm from box and insert small round end in center hole. Okay. Hold handle with the left hand. With right hand, grab small knob, which is right here. This one's the left hand. Okay. And turn tone arm the direction indicated. So the direction indicated is this way. See the little arrow there? Turn at a speed, which will give you the clearest sound. The tone arm is self-adjusting. So if record should not start at the beginning, simply raise head of tone arm slightly and replace. So raise head of tone arm. Oh, so it starts from the inside, it looks like. Let's see. To replay record, lift head and replace. Have fun playing your record, building your puzzle, and reading your book. Now, let's see what we got here. I might have to do some adjusting in just a second here, but I just want to let you hear the sound as it is right now. Here we go. Okay, it's not consistent, so let me make a few adjustments here and then see if I can get this just right 
the right weight and speed and then I'll try to replay this one and I also want to change the camera angle I'll be right back all right I am back I was moving some things around and I didn't notice on the box now the little boy looks like he's happy loving playing with his little uh talking puzzle but the girl look at her she's covering her ears so I'm not sure that is the best way to display this toy when you're shopping for it. But either way, I just thought that was interesting. All right, so I put the puzzle back because I wanted to actually build it. And I think I'll do this for each one. So this may take quite a bit of time because, well, you'll see. I'll show you what I have. But So I have now, I'm going to take the puzzle out again. This time I'm just going to flip it over like that. And then I'll take it like this and then I'll... Pull it apart. Okay, this one's a little... Maybe just the way the box was. There are some pieces with this. This is something that I would eventually probably need to fix. See this one here? So I would take some really thin double face tape and cut it in this puzzle to make sure that that doesn't continue to Degrade, okay. So what I think I'll do is I'll build the puzzles, read the stories, and then play the records in order. So this will be the first one. Okay, I'll probably build the outside. Now, yeah, let me build it on the tray. That might be more fun. Okay. I'm being careful with the pieces. Mm -hmm. There's another outside piece. Ooh, the words go into that. That goes into that, and then, oh, there we go. Okay, this looks like this one. Interesting puzzle pieces, I must say, but the only way to get this to work, then, was for them to do the puzzle pieces like this in a circle, and then have this in the center. Okay, there we go. So that is that. Now let me read the story and then I will play the record. Now the thing you uh, we need to know is that the record, this is what it's saying. So I'm going to try to make sure I get that on the video. This is Tugger, the Busy Harbor Tug. From Whitman by Eileen Daly, illustrated by Judy Stang. So here we go. Chug, a chug, a chug. I'm a Busy Harbor Tug. I help the ships from far off places fit into their proper spaces. Tugger sang that song every day, but he knew it wasn't true. Tugger had never pulled a real ship in his whole life. Tugger was afraid. Now in the picture, it shows him hiding in the background amongst all the big ships. Because he is afraid. He didn't like to be afraid. He didn't like to shiver when the big ships went vroom vroom. But what if they ran run over me, he thought. So all Tugger ever pulled were pretend ships. And that's the way things were until tugboat race day. Tugger had stayed home to guard his harbor. No ships will come today, he was told. So there he was, all alone, towing his pretend ships right up to the harbor entrance. He peeked out at the big rolling ocean. It looked scary. Tugger shut his eyes. Vroom, vroom! Tugger opened his eyes. Beside him was a big freighter. Oh, said Tugger, you should not be here. It's a holiday. Nobody's working. I'm here, said the freighter. I've got bananas to unload. Pull me in. Poor Tugger was terrified. He couldn't move. Well, said the freighter, I can't wait all day. Room, out of my way, bug. Wait, cried Tugger. You can't do it alone. You'll hurt. The freighter pushed up a big wave. It swept Tugger right out of the harbor. Oops, cried Tugger as he was dipped deep. Then, wee, he cried as he was tossed high. This is scary, he said, but he shivered. It's fun. As he rolled and dipped, he said, I'm going to stay all day. But soon, Tugger grew tired of rolling and dipping. He wanted to go home. He turned to find his harbor. Then he turned again. All he saw was ocean. Tugger was lost. And then suddenly, vroom, vroom, there was that big freighter again. What are you out here for? Oh, why are you out here, bug? Asked the freighter. Then he said, take this rope. I'll tow you back. Tugger hoped no one would see him. A tugboat being towed. How awful Tugger felt. Very sad. Then at the harbor, the freighter stopped. Now you told me, he said. Me, cried Tugger. I, the freighter had a hole in his side. Why do you think I came to get you, he asked. I couldn't stop. Crashed into something. So I came to get you before I lost all my bananas. What could Tugger do? He had to chug to the front of that big boat. He had to stop thinking it might run him over. 
or run over him, and he had to remember that the other boat said, no ship ever ran over a tugboat. Tugger closed his eyes and pulled to his surprise that freighter came along almost as easily as his pretend ships. Toot, 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 said Tugger as he chugged ahead, towing a sure enough real freighter, and he wasn't afraid. Vroom, boom, the big freighter. Thanks, little bug. Toot, toot, toot. Thank you, big freighter, said Tugger. Then he sang loudly, chug, a chug, a chug, a chug. I'm a busy harbor tug. For at last, he truly was. All right, there you go. All right, so. What did I figure out about the record? Well, I need to do a quick camera change, which I'll probably do on every single one, and then I'll show you how to play it. All right, here we go. Finally, I'm going to play a record for you. Now, um, it's very fidgety. That's all I can tell you. It does not work well when I do this. It could just be age, I'm not sure. And then I did find that if I put my finger on the top, press down a little. Now remember, they want you to tilt it up to start, which means, looking at this, that that needle is pointing inward. So it's going, the record is going inward to outward. Here we go. So let me just see, let's set that. And then I found if I put my finger up here, it works the best. Ooh, that's a fail. Here we go, there's, her. there's the spot. Okay, let me try it again. So we want to hear, hello, here we are at the harbor. Look at all the boats. What do you do, little boat? Okay, I got most of that. All right, pretty cool. I do have something else to show you, so when I come back then, I will uh, show you some more of these sets. Okay, check it out. I have one, two, three, four, five more to show you today, and yes, I'm going to include them all in this video now. Interesting also is that the Magic Tune Arm, which is this, is not included, so each of these storybooks has its own little tray that you have the puzzle in and then you just bring this along and do what we did earlier. So these are all the titles available. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's a good chance then I have all of them because you got the tugboat which came with it. And then I have five more. And it does say the master unit contains magic tone arm which is needed to play record in the accessory pack. So let's check them out. We have Choo Choo, Little Red Airplane, Fire Chief Frank, Humpty Dumpty, and then Farm Friend. So let's just do it in that order. I think that's all of them. I will have to verify. I think it's pretty accurate. So look, each one has the puzzle. That's all that's in there. And the book. So now I am going to do each one with you right now. So I will be back one more time. And now we'll go one by one. And we'll check each one out. All right, so the next one I'm going to do is Farm Friends. And uh, I just wanted to give a nice shot of the cover of this one before I start. So what I decided is going to build the puzzle, read the story, and then play the record. So let's get this one out. Okay, and I found, of course, that building the outside edge is always the easiest on Pretty much any puzzle, unless it's a, one of those really obscure puzzles. Okay, there's the letters, the copyright, this. All right, there we go. There is the outer part of the puzzle. Ooh, where does this one go? Right there. Now look at these pieces. These are pretty neat looking puzzle pieces if you're a puzzle fan okay so we built the puzzle now let me take that out i'll set it off to the side and we will read the story and then i'll come back and play the record so this way i'm not stopping too much i have to stop and reset so i'm trying to do that as little as possible let's see what the story is all about 
The red tip of the sun was at the edge of the sky. A rooster flew to the barnyard fence and crowed, Cock-a-doodle-doo! Good morning to you! They were all sleeping in the barn there, just enjoying their morning. Oh, a pony lying nearby opened one large brown eye. Winnie, winnie, nay, he cried. Must you crow so early in the day? All well brought up roosters grow at the rising sun, you know. It's my job to awaken everyone, said the rooster. The pony opened his other eye. Don't need your help. Thank you, he said. Why don't you crow for something to eat, like hay or corn or wheat? Just then the farmer came along and fed all the animals. As the rooster watched, he grew very, very, very hungry, and he remembered what the pony had said. So he flew down beside the pig, who was busily eating a hearty breakfast. Cock-a-doodle-doo! I would like some, too, he crowed. The surprised pig knocked over his feed trough and scattered his food all over. Must you crow when I'm eating, grunted the pig. Take my advice. Crow only to say something nice. When the rooster saw the farmer milking the cow, he remembered what the pig had said. Dashing up to the cow, he crowed. Cock-a-doodle-doo! Your milk is so white and foamy, too. The surprised cow kicked the pail and gave the farmer a foamy white milk bath. Must you crow when I'm giving milk, she cried. Why don't you try crowing goodbye? That afternoon, the farmer's boy got up on his pony. Remembering what the cow had said, the rooster dashed out in front of them and crowed, Cock-a-doodle-doo, goodbye to you. The surprised pony stopped so suddenly that the farmer's boy flew over his head into a stack of hay. That rooster has brought us bad luck all day, said the pony. He's always in the way, said the pig. Out with him, said the cow. So they chased the rooster into a far-off corner of the barnyard, and there he stayed for the rest of the day, an unhappy little heap of feathers. Oh, that's sad. It was late when the animals awoke the next morning. They were hungry. Winnie, winnie, way, or minnie, winnie, nay, the pony called out. I want my hay, but the farmer didn't come. Moo, 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 called the cow. I'm hungry, too. Too, the still, the farmer didn't come. Oink, 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 cried the pig. Someone must wake the farmer or we won't eat. Let's ask the rooster, said the cow. They marched over to the little heap of feathers in the corner of the barnyard. We are hungry, said the pig. Help us, said the pony. Please wake the farmer. The rooster didn't wait to hear another word. He popped to his feet and flew to the fence. He crowed and crowed and crowed until the farmer came. And never again did anyone complain about his crow. See, they're all friends again. Happy. All right, so let's play the record. All right, this should start. Good morning to you. I'm a happy rooster. How do you do? Cock-a-doodle-doo. Winnie is what we ponies say. Put my saddle on my back and we can ride and play. Winnie. Moo. Cows give milk for you and cheese and butter too. Strange as it might seem, we even give ice cream. Moo. Oink, oink, oink. I'm a jolly pig. I ate a hearty breakfast to make me big. Oink, oink, oink. All right, let's see if we can get this one to go. Oop. Oh, that was pretty good. We got through most of it. Let's try one more time. Oh, that was going really good. Okay, I would say that was pretty good. Not perfect, but I think you get the idea. Let's move on to the next booklet. All right, so that's the front cover of that one. I'm not sure I gave you a good look the last time. I did show the back. The back's the same, I'm pretty sure, on all of them. I just list them. All right. So the puzzle first. Here we go. That is a neat-looking puzzle. I will take it apart and then rebuild. We shall rebuild. I bet you the shapes are pretty consistent with all of the puzzles. I'll verify that later, but that would indicate to me that, you know, of course it's the same. They just changed the artwork, right?
I remember one time, well, way back, I was actually just building puzzles on video. At that time, it was, I think, 2012. I did maybe 70 puzzles. Okay, there you go. And they were all in like a stop motion. Does anybody remember those? Very interesting. All right, this is the story now. Humpty Dumpty by Daphne Hogstrom. I am Humpty Dumpty. You've heard of me, I know. I like to sit on high walls. I like to sit on low. I like to watch the soldiers marching in the square. I like to watch the bluebirds flying in the air. But I am roly-poly, all full and fat and round. If I should start to teeter, I'd topple to the ground. He's on the top of this castle. I'm rocking like a seesaw on the tallest wall of the castle. Turret. Watch out, here I fall. Topsy-turvy over, I'm dropping through the sky. And as I twist and tumble, look what I pass by. I pass a dusty housemaid shaking out a rag. I pass a trusty guardsman hanging out a flag. I pass a dainty duchess watering her flowers. I pass a green-eyed griffin keeping watch on all the towers. I pass a merry minstrel playing on a lute. I pass a jolly jester juggling with some fruit. I pass a sleepy sentry snoring on the stairs. I pass, I pass a prancing piper with a band of dancing bears. I pass the king's old cobbler hammering his shoes. I pass the king's old wizard brewing magic brews. I pass her gracious majesty sitting down to dine. I pass a busy laundress pegging linens on a line. I pass the castle baker cooling off his pies. I pass the castle sorcerer searching in the skies. I pass his tiny highness fishing in the moat. I pass the little princess pulling in her boat. I pass the castle gateway as the hinges slowly swing, and I break upon the drawbridge in the pathway of the king. Not any royal charger, nor any royal knight, could put me back together. They tried with all their might. But do not weep or worry, don't pity me. I beg, although they could not mend me, I'm a happy scrambled egg. You know, that's a much different story that I remember from. Maybe that's the original one. I don't know. All right. Uh, oh, here's what's going to be on the record. Wow, that's a lot. So let me see if I can get this to work for you on the Humpty Dumpty. Okay, so I use a little tape. That's not how I would do a permanent fix. I'd re-glue it and make sure it was right. But I do need to get these going here. So let's see. So Humpty Dumpty is my name. If I get that, I will try to continue. Oh, not on my finger. Oh, that was going perfect. Okay, so my guess is that this needs to be absolutely, it actually is pretty close. It still probably just needs to be glued back. All right, so I will have to work on this one later. Let's move on to the next one. All right, one more time. I play with it a little bit. I actually got it to play most of it, so I just want to make sure I get this in for us. I lifted it up accidentally. I'm a 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 I'm a
Well, we got through it. It wasn't perfect, but at least we got this one done. All right, let's check out the next one. All right, here we go. The next one is Fire Chief Frank. There is the cover to it. So let us build the puzzle. So this is right there. Listen to your record, build your puzzle, read your book. I'm doing it in the opposite order because I want to do as few camera changes as possible. All right, so let's build the puzzle. It's kind of interesting that they made the whole piece for each one. There was no other way to do it where you could just get maybe the insert of the record and use the same center channel there. But I guess, you know, you got to have all your puzzles. And it's working out for me. I get to play, play, play. Oh, this one's going real smooth. This is an interesting piece, like I've said before. So, where would it go? Hmm. Where does it go? Where does it go? Nobody knows. Right there. Okay. Just having fun, everyone. Just having fun. Okay, so there is the puzzle. Pretty neat. All right, let's see. Fire Chief Frank. What kind of a pet? Ooh, I see. Maybe he's got a ride-along pet. When the alarm rang, Fire Chief Frank leaped out of bed. Before you could say, tiddlywink, he was dressed. He ran out to his red car and off he went with a zoom. The fire engine followed with a wee. The fire was in a two-story house. Smoke was coming from the upstairs window. The family was in the garden and the little boy was crying. My pet, he said. My pet's in there. Ah, uh, what kind of pet? Fire Chief Frank patted his head. I'll try to get him, he said. Is he upstairs? The little boy stopped crying. Yes, he said. He's in the bathtub. Hmm, what kind of pet goes in the bathtub? Frank climbed the ladder all the time. He was thinking, the pet's in the bathtub? And he was wondering, what kind of pet? It can't be a dog or a cat. A goldfish, perhaps? He reached the sill and pulled himself into the room. Ugh, he said. It surely is smoky in here. He listened for the bark or a meow, but there was none, just the fire saying, crackle, crackle, hiss. He found the bathroom door open. Just then something went, bubble, bubble, gulp. If someone had come up for air and found smoke instead, that doesn't sound like a dog or a cat or even a goldfish, Fire Chief Frank growled. A little flame began to lick around the bathroom door. Frank moved fast. Whatever's in the bathtub has to be taken out now. Through the smoke, he could see something long and dark lying in the tub. That looks like a log, he said. What's a log doing in the bathtub? Then the log came up for air and opened a big mouth. Snap! Frank jumped back. Golly, it's an alligator. How can I rescue an alligator? He tried to remember if he had learned anything about rescuing alligators. No, not one word. The little flame at the door was a big one now. It was eating away the doorposts. Off in the distance, he could hear the little boy crying. Frank took off his helmet and scratched his head. Then he had an idea. He slipped off his belt and he made a noose like this. Carefully, he put it over the alligator's nose. And he picked up the alligator and carried it to the window. We're coming down, he called. The little boy threw himself against Frank's legs. You are the bravest fireman in the world, he said. Frank blushed as red as his car and said, not really. Then he and his men put out the fire, which after all was what they had come to do, wasn't it? Yes. All right, let's, uh, well, here is the story we're going to hear. This is the exciting story of Fire Chief Frank and the big fire. This is Fire Chief Frank. That was the alarm. Get the truck ready. Let's go. Faster, faster, faster. Every second counts. Let's put out the fire. Look at the smoke. Look at the flames. Look at the firemen everywhere. Squirt the hose in that window. Oh, look, look. They're putting the fire out. Whew. What a hot one. It took the hook and ladder on all our men, but it's out at last. Say, ride back to the fire station. or ring the bell all the way. Wow. What an exciting day. Let's see if this one works. All right, here we go. I'm not even looking if they're staying in focus because I'm moving, the camera might be going out. But here we go, we want to listen, so. Let's go! Okay, let's go as the third or fourth line. Ooh, one more back.
Wow, that was the best one so far. All right, very cool. I wonder why some are playing really well and some are not. Well, we'll see. Let's check out the next one. Okay, Little Red Airplane. That's the next one I'm going to show you. There's the front and the back. Again, similar, but at least I flipped them around. Okay, so let's take this one about. This one's orange. I think at the end I'm just going to set them all out with the disc. Might look kind of cool for a final shot. I'm mixing up my puzzles so that it's more challenging. Oh, front piece. That looked like the right piece. Are you enjoying my story time? There was a while too, there was a point where I was gonna read stories. I thought, hey, you know, that'd be cool. You know, it's been nine years on YouTube, so a lot of the stuff I was thinking about way back when, uh, but it was all copyright. Then they started saying, well, you can't read people's books because they're copyright, which makes sense. Okay, Little Red Airplane, can they see me? But these are pretty old, so I think we're okay if I read them. I see a barn, I see a tree, I see a cow, can she see me? I see the cow, swish goes her tail, I see her now, knock over a pail. Was she stung by a bee? I see her, does she see me? I see a hill, I see a horse running through the meadow, of course. I see him kick his legs up high, I see another horse running by. I see him kick, he kicks a tree, I see him kick, does he see me? I see a meadow, I see a hill, and near a pond, a big windmill. I see the windmill start to whirl. Round and around, I see it whirl. I see a fence, I see a gate. I see a little dog having to wait. Waiting and trotting to and fro, waiting for a boy who walks too slow. I see a pond, I see some boats, I see the boys in bright red coats. The wind is blowing the boats towards shore. The wind blows them about, more and more. The wind moves the boats, the boats all three. I see them, can they see me? I see a road, big and wide. I see the cars on every side, red and yellow and blue and green. I see a truck and a road machine. I see a railroad, I see a train, I see the gate go down again. I see the train speeding away. All the children stop their play. I see them waving happily. I see them. Do they see me? I see the park, I see the swings, I see the children playing in rings. They all hold hands and then let go. They spin around. Then form a row. I wonder what that game can be. I see them. Do they see me? I see, children, I see children playing ball. I see big boy take a fall. I see him rise and hold his knee. I see him. Does he see me? I see a church. I see the steeple. I see many dressed up people. I see people coming out and lots of children running about. I see a building, a bakery shop, and smoke is coming from the chimney on top. I see the smoke floating and swaying. I see that smoke. It must be playing. I see it floating lazily. I see it. Does it see me? I see the town and the countryside. I see the people. They cannot hide. If they play in the park or ride in a car or stay near the pond, wherever they are, I still see them, but they can't see me. Why? Well, close your eyes and count to three. One, two, three. Surprise! I'm in an airplane flying high. I'm in an airplane up in the sky. I look down on the countryside. I see the town and the road so wide. There are so many things that I can see. I can see them. But, they, but can they see me? But they can't see me. Sorry. Okay, this is the little red airplane. Hooray, hooray, let's fly away. What a wonderful way to play today. I feel as free as a bird or bee. We're high in the sky. How far can we see? How far we can see. Things that were tall now look so small. They look like toys for girls and boys. I see a barn. I see a tree. I see a cow. Can she see me? Hooray, hooray, let's fly away. What a wonderful way to play today. There's so much that we can see. We're both as happy as can be. All right, well, let's uh, play the record. Okay, that last one worked great doing it the regular way. Let's see if it works this one here. So we want to hear, hooray, hooray, let's fly away. Now this one I noticed uh, it just seems a little wavy in spots, but that might not that might be or might not be the issue.
Okay, so it's not staying on its track. Let me do it this way. Okay, so that wasn't complete or correct, but we did get through it. Let me try one more time here. Okay, that skipped. Oh, too much pressure. It sure is finicky, I'll tell you that. Hooray, hooray, let's fly away. What a wonderful way to play today. I feel as free as a bird or a bee. When we're high in the sky, how far we can see. Things that were tall now look so small. They look like toys for girls and boys. I see a bird. I see a tree. I see a cow. Can she see me? Hooray, hooray. Let's fly away. What a wonderful way to play today. There is so much that we can see. Our both as happy as can be. Wow, okay, that worked. So it's just a little finicky. You gotta find the right groove there, and uh, it works. All right, so let's do the last one. Okay, so the Choo Choo Talking Puzzle and Storybook Accessory Pack. All right, let's do the puzzle. So I was saying earlier, oh, this one looks like it's been taped. I did maybe 60 puzzles, wood frame tray puzzles, and I would do like a stop motion and I would uh, like put a piece in, take a photograph, put a piece in, take a photograph. I did a bunch of those. Does anybody remember those being their first Lucky Benny Shop videos? If so, let me know. Ooh, that one goes there. Which way do we go? I seem to want to rhyme. Every time as I build my puzzle. Oh, what rhymes with puzzle? Okay. Hmm. Let's get this one in. There we go. Okay, now the booklet. Choo choo at the zoo. All day long, Choo Choo gave boys and girls rides in the zoo. Now was night and Choo Choo was fast asleep. Zzz, zzz, zzz. Suddenly, Choo Choo woke up. What was that? It was Baby Elephant poking her with his long nose. Wake up, Choo Choo, cried he and all the other animals. We want to talk to you. I am tired, said Choo Choo. All day long, I give rides to boys and girls. Let me sleep. The monkey's in the uh, main part of the Choo Choo. Boys and girls have so much fun. Please, Choo Choo, give us a ride too, said the animals. Rides for animals? laughed Choo Choo. Well, I'll try it. Hooray! cried the animals. They piled in all the cars. Wait for me! cried Baby Elephant. No room, said the animals. You are much too big. Oh my, yes, said Choo Choo. You are too big and too heavy. Off went Choo Choo with all the happy animals. And there stood Baby Elephant with big tears rolling down his cheeks. I'm always too big for everything, he said. Oh, what a lovely ride, said the animals. When they got back, then they saw Baby Elephant. Let's get a long board and put it across three cars, said Baby Tiger. Baby Elephant can stand on that. Oh, that's very nice. Good idea, said all the animals, and they pushed and pulled and Baby Elephant onto it. How funny he looked. All aboard, cried Baby Tiger. Off went Choo Choo and her big passenger. Baby Elephant loved the ride, but Choo Choo did not. She puffed and panted all the way. When the ride was over, all the animals cried, Thank you, Choo Choo, thank you. And Baby Elephant pushed his big nose against Choo Choo. Thank you, Choo Choo, I'll never forget. Nor will I, groaned Choo Choo, as she dropped off to sleep. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Suddenly Choo Choo woke up. Oh my, was it Baby Elephant? No, it was Engineer Fred. Time to get up, Choo Choo. Soon the boys and girls will be here for your rides, or for their rides. Oh, groaned Choo Choo, I am too stiff to move. Engineer Fred took out his oil can. My, how good the oil felt. The boys and girls came all aboard, and around the zoo went Choo Choo. 
Choo Choo is in fine shape, said Engineer Fred. She pulls her cars nice and easy. And why not, laughed Choo Choo to herself. Anything is easy after an elephant. All right, so here's what we're going to hear. Choo Choo, I'm a jolly train. I love to carry boys and girls across the hills and plain. I'm the engineer. Is everybody here? Yes, we are. Me too. All aboard. Let's go. Tickets, please. Thank you. Blow the whistle. Ring the bell. There's the station. Oh, look. Everyone is here to see us. Now, that's got the least amount of words on it. So let's see if we can get this one to play. Okay, here we go. Should be the easiest one, I would think. But we will see. You just never know with these. Let me move this over just a little. Give me a little more room. Here we are. So we want to hear, I'm a jolly train. Nope, that skipped. Yeah, it's kind of going right to that second paragraph. again but let me try the other way now see if we can get it to work this way I really like it. It's kind of a lot of nostalgia in regards to such a cool vintage toy. All right, let me bring it all back in and I'll uh, wrap it up with you. All right, there you go. It's kind of neat to see the whole collection and all the different colors that they created with the little sets. Now, let me ask you a few questions. One, did you have a favorite story? Mine was Farm Friends. For some reason, I like that story. Great ending. Uh, two, did you like the puzzle building, the book reading, or me playing the little sets. Uh, let me know which one of those you preferred. And it is nice to see, again, a complete vintage toy like this all together. Imagine back in 1968, if a kid even owned all of these. Maybe they just got the main set and never got any more. Never knew what the other stories were. Maybe that's you, and you finally got to hear them all. So let me know that as well. And hopefully you're enjoying these vintage toys. I have much more to show you. Thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate you watching. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a Lucky Penny, pick it up!